It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 50 rematch. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? And off we go from Denver. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Panthers head out for their initial drive, and at the helm is their second-year quarterback now, the number one overall pick from 2023, Bryce Young. And he's certainly coming off a very tough rookie campaign, but he showed flashes of why he's the number one overall pick. Now starting over in year two with a brand new coaching staff, I expect Bryce Young to show the world his talents in full. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. They'll play fake. Now Young. Got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. He'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Young now from the 50. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Young. That one completes him again. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And really burst onto the scene in his last year at South Carolina. Second in the SEC in receiving yards with 1,255. But you see the style. Explosive, physical. Tough matchup for any corner. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. In motion right is Mingo. Young. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. And this now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Throwing, Young. And that one too wide and incomplete. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So Young will head to the sideline, and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now here are the Broncos to take over on offense. Led out by their rookie quarterback, drafted 12th overall, Bo Nix out of Oregon. And he really established himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the country a season ago. 45 touchdown passes and only three interceptions. A dynamic athlete, processes a lot of information in a short amount of time, and puts his team in a great position to win on each and every down. You don't break the NCAA record for highest completion percentage without having all those attributes, and I think that he'll translate very well in Denver. Off the play fake, here's Nix. And that is gonna be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now a second and 10. Now a first carry for the former Tar Heel, Javante Williams. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Here's third and seven. Throwing Knicks. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. That is their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, it's Riley Dixon on now to kick it away for Denver. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. From the shotgun, it's Young. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll send the tight end in motion. They go play action. Young. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Now Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half. And on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. So here's a first and ten at the 38 to throw Young. Got a man. That's Leggett. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 47. They'll give this to Hubbard running right. He's got it to the 43 here. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Now a second and six. Looking to throw, Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. One of the best routes, one of the favorite routes of any play caller. He just ran that one. Nice little angle route. That's supposed to be a catch, and usually it is in the running back drop. Yeah, I mean, he's a running back, but he's got hands. He should have caught it. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. In motion to tight end. On play action, Young. And he comes back with one complete. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Nix. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Working out of the gun is Nix. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A third down gain of 19. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. To throw, here's Nix. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Franklin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Operating from the gun, here's Nix. That's caught, it's Marvin Mims. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 21. The rookie from Oregon on target with that one. It leads to a first down. Next to throw again. And this will complete again to Mims. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Here now, second and four. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, it's Knicks. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. 
Carolina getting set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. In motion goes the tight end. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? 3-3, three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. He completes this one to Mingo. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. In motion right is Mingo. Young to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 43. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Young off the play fake. Open man down the field. That's Leggett. Touchdown, Carolina. Xavier Leggett, 43 yards. And the Panthers have taken the lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Nicks to the air. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. <laughs> to throw is Nicks. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Now it's Nick's. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Now we give up the middle to Williams. Now inside the 25. And he is finally going to be brought down, but not before he gets it to the Panthers' 16-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Well, every quarterback, especially a rookie quarterback, loves to have plays like that from a guy running the ball. Takes a lot of pressure off the youngster, doesn't it? He doesn't have to throw the ball in bad situations. Just turns around, hands it to his big horse, and we've seen rookie quarterbacks ride great runners right into the playoffs. Off the bootleg, here's Nix. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Nix. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Lucas Crow, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Riley Moss takes him down defensively. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Young will set to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And this offense on third down today, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five, and they'll send the tight end in motion here. It's Young off play action. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Broncos take over, first down, and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, Nix. Throw right side, complete to Williams. No gain, and it's second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 64 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. On the counter, here's Williams. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Throwing Knicks. Finding Sutton on the out route who makes the catch. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They'll go jet sweep here with Sutton. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. The solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Oh, 
operating from the gun. Nix, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. When you run into slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Looking to throw. Nix. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Young from the shotgun. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. This a second and seven from the 37. Now here's Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. To throw, Young. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 35-yard line. Now Young. That's swung out wide to Sanders. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Young. Got a man, that's Leggett. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 13-yard line. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Young now. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the three, second at a yard. 
Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they don't even need to run a second down play. Give them the first. And typically when we see this jumping, is it usually third down, fourth down? They got them on second down. I think that's a lack of discipline. So it's still first and goal, but now they get to try from a bit closer. Hubbard diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Broncos offense and Javante Williams head out for this next drive. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big hole after big hole to run through in this first half. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw, here's Nix. And that is incomplete here. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Nix. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Nix looking to throw again. I uh, had a man but he missed him and it's incomplete. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender, but you also have to give your own guy a chance too. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Young. And that's complete to Sanders. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one.
This second and four. Now Young. That one completes him again. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Young. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. On the counter, this is Hubbard. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the running back, Chuba Hubbard, who put together a solid first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. They're running with power here, and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Broncos' offense set to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They start the second half here with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Williams going to get it again on second down. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39 yard line. It goes as a gain of nine and it moves the chains. We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. 
Man open left side. It's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 103 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They run it again with Williams. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Screenplay set up for Williams. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt, and that'll bring him back within a point. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Throwing, Young. He completes this one to Mingo. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because usually five on three. And when they do their job well, Guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. Oh, able to avoid him. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That good for 19 and a first down. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 38. 
They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Here is Young. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 60 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. And some guys just have that knack of finding the first down flag and getting there. Hubbard did it very well on that carry, and he did it really well last season. 59 first down runs a year ago. They go play action. Young. That's complete out right to the tight end Tremble. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Young to throw it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And they add on and get a little bit of a cushion. It's 20 to 16 now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Broncos offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle, it's Williams. Shoves him away. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Again, it's Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. To throw is Knicks. Wide open receiver complete. 
And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 31-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 31. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 11 more on that one and another first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Working out of the gun is Nix. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Another big-time play there by Clowney, who spent his college career in South Carolina. He really now has returned home as a professional to help the Panthers get back on track. Back in the area, getting after QBs. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On play action, here's Nix. They'll roll him out right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Operating from the gun, here's Nix. And that is incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. It can be a thankless job sometimes to be a kicker, but they're thanking him right now. That's now four field goals. He's kept him in the game. He sure has. That offense has got to find its rhythm because I'm not sure that just kicking field goals is going to allow them to win this game. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Panthers offense and Bryce Young headed back onto the field. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and six. From the shotgun, it's Young. He'll drop that down to Hubbard, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. There it is, a staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a back, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, that is tough on inside linebackers. One false step, and that ball's completed. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. 
And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for them. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. They're not in any rush offensively. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The Panthers on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This will be third and five. On play action. Young. Out to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Seems to me that our friend Old Momentum. I think he's definitely changed teams in this game. It's only going to grow after that sack, and now, heck, they can get the ball back here and possibly even get the lead. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt sails over the sideline, and the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Now it's Nix. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count. And a five-yard penalty ensues. And they'll accept that penalty. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing Knicks. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this, and they're on the move here with a first down. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. Loose inside the 30, and he's finally down at the 21-yard line. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. <laughs> because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. This is caught. Touchdown. Adam Troutman from 21 yards away. And the Broncos have taken a fourth quarter lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, 
but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? So now a big play here as the Broncos will line up to go for two. They'll look to run for it with Williams. And he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Tight end in motion right. Out of the gun, it's Young. They'll find the former Steeler, Deontay Johnson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Young. Throw left side pulled in by Mingo. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Give up the middle, Hubbard. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Third and four. Young to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The home team's offense and Bo Nix getting set for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and seven.
They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The offense on third down, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and four. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. And that flag accepted. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Nix from the shotgun. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for Denver. Forty-three yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and they will take over first and ten. The Carolina offense about ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Young will set to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Young working out of the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And that nearly picked off but would have been a great time for their first interception of the game instead it's second down I guess they're in a situation now fourth quarter where they're forced to take some chances but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take and that one could very easily have been intercepted and if it does get picked off that could possibly seal this one Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And the Broncos get there and take him down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Johnny Hacker now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Taking it about the 16. 
They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Denver Broncos back out there. Former Tar Heel Javante Williams, we shine the spotlight on him. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of <laughs> know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yeah, yes. Maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll hand it off now, Williams. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now Williams running left. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11, probably crashing the line here. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to have the Broncos first, and that should be the capper. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. 
but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout.